Hey, a friend recently called me. She bootstrapped her startup and is now thinking about raising money for the first time. And she had an important question for me, which was, how much money should I raise? And I want to share it here because I think it defines quite a few things. You have to get that number right in order to set yourself up for success for three reasons. Number one, how much money you raise basically defines who you're raising from. If you're raising a 500K round, then you're gonna be raising from business angels, friends and family, and so on. And if you're raising a 5 million round, you're gonna be talking to seed VCs and VCs. Number two, if you raise too much, that means you're gonna get diluted way too much at that point. Because the value of your company largely depends on your revenues, your traction, your growth at that point. The value is more or less fixed, so depending on how much you raise, you will get diluted by a higher percentage. And then last but not least, you could also raise too little, which means you'd have to go out and raise more money too soon again, without having a lot of time to focus on what you should be doing, focus on your product, your customers, your sales, and bring the company to the next milestone before it's ready to fundraise again. So what is the right number? Traditionally, it's been 12 to 24 months of runway. That means you take your budget and you calculate how much money you're losing within the next 12 to 24 months, and that largely defines how much money you're raising. Now, due to COVID, I would say 1.5x that number and raise for at least 18 months of runway. Just because it's gonna be hard to estimate how much liquidity and how easy access to capital will be about a year from now. So now what I would suggest as a rule of thumb, look at your budget, spend enough time on your budget so you actually believe in those numbers and you've thought of enough edge cases and market developments to be fairly certain that you know what 18 months of runway look like, including staff growth, product growth, and so on and so forth, and then add 30% to that number. So 18 months of runway plus 30%. Why? Because that gives you flexibility for different scenarios. Number one, it's not bad to have runway for almost two years. Number two, if you fall slightly short of your target of raising 18 months plus 30%, 30%, chances are you will still end up with at least 18 months of runway, which is good. And then third, it also it gives you a bit of flexibility if you have access to capital right now to just top it up with a few months of runway on top of it without having to renegotiate the whole deal because you communicated a much lower number to your lead investor or early investor that come in at the beginning. So just to summarize, if you're about to go out and fundraise, make sure you know how much you're raising. The way you can calculate that number is by first spending enough time on your budget and going through all the numbers, crunching them until you feel confident that you have the most likely version of reality in there. Sum up the cash burn for the next 18 months and then add 30% on top of it. And that's the number you wanna go out with when you start speaking with investors. And with that, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Stay curious and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, if you like this video and you would like to do me a huge favor, then please smash that like button and subscribe. That's great for the YouTube algorithm and more people will see it. It will also make sure you will get to see all the upcoming videos on essentialism and entrepreneurship. And if there's a question or topic you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. 